Girl, I'm gonna show y'all uh, how I make my potato salad. Uh, I'm gonna have some people over, uh, maybe tonight or tomorrow. I don't know when, if I'm gonna invite them tonight or tomorrow, but uh, I'm gonna make some barbecues, a couple ribeyes I'm thawing out. But anyway, I'm gonna make some tater salad, okay? It's probably no different than anybody else. I'm just gonna show you how I do it and whatever, girl. Let's get started though. All right, so I got my potatoes peeled and cleaned and cubed. I cut them, uh, I try to get them about the same size, about like that. Uh, but it don't matter if some are bigger, some are smaller, because I like my potato salad to have a few potato chunks in it, so it's okay if some of them are a little firmer, okay? So I'm gonna boil them. Usually when you, uh, this is a whole five pound bag of potatoes. Uh, I don't know why, I just went crazy. Um, but anyway, uh, when you make a potato salad, it's gonna kinda grow, so I mean, probably about, one and a half to two potatoes per person that you expect like at a party some people won't eat it at all but some people will eat a shitload of it so that's usually the way i look at it about you know one large potato or two small per head that's going to be there did i just say it? yeah I did. okay so i'm gonna boil these in water for should only take about 10 minutes because you want them a little bit al dente you don't want it like mashed potatoes. So we're gonna check them at 10 minutes once they start boiling. And uh, when they're fork tender, but still a little firm, I'm gonna pour them in a colander, run some cold water on them to stop the cooking process. And then uh, we're gonna refrigerate them. Steve, just get to it. Okay, I'm sorry. All right, they started to boil. Okay. So uh, I'm going to turn the fire down just a little bit, down to maybe eight. I don't want a raging boil. <laughs> I'm just gonna boil it gently for probably about 10 minutes now. Actually, too. these potatoes, uh, I was keeping an eye on them because I didn't want to overcook them. They hit their sweet spot right around eight, eight minutes, okay? They're tender, but not mashy, Ma you know. They're still like, it's, it's, it's an art to it, girl. <laughs> you want them to be tender, but not mushy because you're gonna, I mean, unless you just like, you know, uh, like potato salad with no clumps in it, but I like a little potato clump along with the creaminess. But if you like them just super creamy, go ahead and boil the shit out of them, girl. <laughs> like uh, 10 minutes, I might be covering the microphone the way I'm holding the phone out. Anyway, girl, eight minutes. So I'm running cold water over them to stop them from cooking. And then I'm actually, gonna put them uh you can put them in the refrigerator or the freezer uh because you don't want to make it until it, it's actually cold you want to make sure these potatoes are really cold when you make potato salad because you're gonna mix mayonnaise in it so definitely at least room temperature but i wait till they're cold and then i put my mayonnaise and stuff in all right let's let them drain we'll put them in a uh so here they are. I put them in a bowl and I'm going to stick them in the refrigerator uncovered actually so that they won't, you know, steam in there. I want them to cool down real fast and get cold. All right, while my potatoes are cooling, I'm going to boil up about, I'm boiling five eggs because I want to put about four eggs in it. I think you don't have to put eggs in yours. I like boiled egg in my potato salad and then I always boil an extra one because I know I'm going to want to eat one of them. So, okay, let's get some eggs boiled. Uh, the, I found that once the eggs start boiling, perfect boiled egg is 11 minutes for me. When it starts boiling, I turn the fire down a little bit, keep them boiling for exactly 11 minutes, then get the hot water off of them, run cold water on them until they cool down enough to peel. I don't know, girl, always makes a perfect boiled egg for me. All right, let's put this potato salad together. First thing I'm gonna do is throw my veggies in there. I got one onion finely chopped two stalks of celery finely chopped. Um, I only had three little green onions. I went ahead and chopped them up too. I like a little green onion in there. And I just had a few pickles. I didn't know, dill pickles. I didn't really have that much. So I went ahead and threw in some uh, jalapeno, girl. I can't think. <laughs> Pickled jalapeno. Can you see that? No, your finger's in the way, Steve. <laughs> so that's what I'm gonna put in there. So we're gonna put all that in there. Just kind of scatteredly. Okay. Try to not get it in the damn place. Steve, 
you, that's not the way you do it. We can't. I know, girl. Just, I, I'm not. I haven't learned everything about uh, <coughs> productionals. Okay. So then I'm gonna throw my finely chopped egg whites in there. Okay. And then my yolks. I don't chop the yolks up with the whites because it makes a mess. So I just same way I do my tuna fish. I just crumble the yolks up in there. Get big old chunks like that. Try to wobble them up, girl. Best you can. Actually, let's probably crumble it in a bowl first. Yes, yeah, Steve, that makes more sense. Now you gotta pick it out of there. Okay, see? There we go. I'm learning too, girl. I'm not claiming to know everything. I'm not a professional chef like uh, Paula. Uh, okay. So we got our eggs and everything in there. So now we got to get our sauces in there. I'm going to try something different. I'm going to put a little bit of this whole grain old style mustard in there. I'm going to put about, I don't know, about a tablespoon of that in there. I think it might add some niceness to it. And then I'm going to put just a little bit. This isn't, you know, yellow mustard potato salad. Just gonna put a little drizzle of mustard on top. I don't want too much. I don't like a mustardy uh, potato salad, but I do like it kind of in there. And then mayonnaise, I don't know, girl. This is a lot, so I'm thinking we're gonna start off with about four globs. I just call them globs. <laughs> Maybe five globs. Yeah, we'll start there because it's a lot of potato. I kind of want to. And now we need some seasoning. I got just a little bit of this Cajun slap your mama left. I'm gonna go ahead and probably put all that in there. There ain't much left. Let's see. Probably not enough to make a difference. And then, oh, please, Steve, don't. Don't, Steve, don't do it. <sighs> of course, girl. He puts that on everything. Because I like it, girl. Plus, there's just a tiny bit left. I forgot to throw that in there. Mm. Let's start there. I don't want to put it all. I don't want to get too salty. All right, then I'm just going to take a fork and just kind of mix it all together, kind of haphazardly. And I'm, I'm going to press it a little bit as I'm stirring it. But I don't, I don't want it to get like mashed potatoes. This is going to take a lot more mayonnaise, I can tell you right now. Damn, this is gonna be a giant. I'm gonna be eating tape salad for days. Anyway, you just wanna mix it up until you get a nice consistency of lumpy and creamy, okay? I'm gonna have to add some mayo to this. You just kinda have to eyeball it, girl. This ain't no measured recipe, but kinda press like that. So you mash a little, stir a little. Depends on how chunky you like it. If you don't like a potato salad chunky at all, you can hit it with electric mixer, I guess, and just blend the shit up. <laughs> I like a little chunk of potato here and there, along with the creamy, okay. I'm gonna add some more potato salad. I'm gonna keep stirring. Say mayonnaise. I think I said add more potato salad. You damn sure don't need more of that, actually. Yeah, so when you make potato salad, be careful because if you make too much of it, it doesn't freeze very well at all, actually. So just make what you think you're gonna serve or what you might wanna eat left over. See how now it's getting a more creaminess. Okay. All right. It's pretty good, but I want it a little more creamy. And I'm about out of mayonnaise, so I'm just going to go ahead and finish putting the rest of this in there. Uh, I don't like putting just a tiny bit of mayonnaise back in the refrigerator. That makes no sense, girl. Okay, I'll do that. I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with the rest of that fajita seasoning. Cause that's a lot, girl. That ought to be perfect, really. All right, I'm just gonna keep stirring up. Here we have it, it's done, girl. I think we saved another marriage with this one. I'm gonna cover it and it'll be even better tomorrow, girl. I think we're gonna do our barbecue tomorrow, so it'll be really good tomorrow. But it tastes awesome now. Hell yeah, girl.